we finished creating the contents of our mailer. Right now it's only stored in the computer's temporary memory. We need to save the document as a file on a disk. We'll save this file on our computer's hard disk. We click on the File menu heading and the menu opens. There is a Save command and a Save As command. The first saves the document under its current name. The second saves the document under a new name. We haven't named our document yet, so we'll choose Save As. We click on the Save As command. In this dialog box, we'll give the file a name, and we'll save the file in a folder on the hard disk. We set up folders on a disk to help organize our files. Right now, the location is the My Documents folder, which is the default folder where Word saves files. To save to the Bed and Breakfast folder, which we've set up, we click to move up one level of the folder system. This is the main listing, also called the root directory of our hard drive. To select our folder, we double click on it. In the name field, Word suggests the first phrase of the document as a name. In this case, it's not quite the name we want. We type the name mailer. It also shows that the file type will be a Word document. Now we'll choose the Save button. The heavy outline around the button means it can be chosen by pressing Enter. We do, and our document is saved in the folder. A pulsing disk icon in the status bar shows that saving is going on. You might see a message in your status bar about background saving. Word helps you out by quickly preparing a document for saving. The actual saving process then goes on in the background while you can continue working. This is especially helpful with large documents, which used to make you wait while they were being saved. Once we've given a file a name, it shows up in the title bar. We're almost ready to print our document, but first, since this won't go out until tomorrow, we'll change the date. We just delete today's date and type in tomorrow's. Now we'll print our mailer. We could click on the print button on the toolbar, which would send the document directly to the printer. Right now, though, we want to see some printing options, so we click on the File menu. We'll use the Print command. We click on it, and the Print dialog box appears. The dialog box shows the printer that is currently set up for our computer. We can choose to print all the pages, the current page, a range of pages that we specify, or selected text. We'll leave it set for all. We'll also use the other default settings, including number of copies. To print, we'll click on OK. When we do, the dialog box closes, and the document is sent to the printer. A printing icon displays in the status bar. Word also does printing in the background, so you can continue working. After a moment, our mailer is printed. We're done with this document now, so we'll close it. We open the file menu. Notice that the bottom of the file menu shows our mailer file. It will show the four most recently used files. Later, if we want to work on a file again, we can open it easily by clicking on its name in the file menu. We choose Close, and a dialog box appears. It asks us if we want to save the changes we made. We'll choose the Yes button. By the way, if the office assistant is open, these kinds of messages are often in office assistant balloons rather than message boxes, but the information and choices are the same. When we click on Yes, the document is saved and closed. Notice that most of the buttons in the toolbars become gray because there's no document to work with. They'll come back when we have another document. Be sure to save your work often. If your computer locks up or loses power accidentally, you could lose any unsaved work.